Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Angelie, if you don't know. For those of you guys that, you know, have stayed in touch with me, thank you. I love the support. Um, today we are talking about my current skincare routine. It's not an updated because I have stopped using all the products that I used to use and I'm only using three products plus moisturizer, so four. Um, yep, so let's just rewind a couple months. So a couple months ago, my skin, my face was looking a freaking disaster. I was confused as to why. I didn't understand the reason why it flared up the way that it did. Um, I didn't think I was eating nothing, you know, out of the world. I was drinking my water on a daily basis. I was keeping up on my skin regimen, um, but my skin would not just stop breaking out and I was just like, I didn't want to be that girl back in eighth grade, pimple phase, I didn't want to be that girl again. So it really got to me and after trying all type of things, I was doing masks like two times a day. I was cleansing my face three times a day. I was moisturizing, drinking double the water that I usually do, and nothing was working. So I decided to seek professional help, and that was the best decision I've made because, you know, I tried every, how do you say that? every way oh i tried every home remedy and it was just simply not working out for me and you know i didn't want to because i had spent like 50 dollars here and there buying more skincare products and i haven't even finished the skincare products that i have at, that i already had so i was like you know what i might as well spend 50 or a couple more bucks on seeing a doctor that specializes in skin so I went ahead and scheduled a dermatologist appointment where I went to literally the location is literally like three minutes from my house like a minute drive and the doctor was amazing she was so nice um, what they do is they take a you know they make you write out what's going on with your skin um you know basic stuff that you do at the doctors fill out that new patient forms then she asked what's going on and what would i want to happen and i'm like my skin is going off meaning it's flaring up i'm having acne all the time i don't understand why and I explained to her, it gets even worse when I have my period when it's that time of the month. So, she's she recommended for me to ask for my gynecologist to prescribe me um, birth control just so it can control the time frame of the period and my flare-ups. Um, I did let her know that due to other medical conditions, um, at the moment I can't take birth control. So she's like, okay, no problem. So take off. She examined my um, my face with like a flashlight, and I explained to her that I was getting um, acne on my chest, not as much as my face, but a little, you know, a little pimples around. And I'm, just, you know, that's weird. You're not supposed to have acne <laughs> on your chest. And I was getting some like right at the top of my um, shoulder. So she was like, okay, take off your top. Let me just examine you real quick. So we did that. She examined me and she just prescribed me three things. Those three things were, first off, there's a routine of how you got to do things. 
but the first product which you can find almost in every store Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, um, Target, Walmart, whatever store and that is Panoxyl. Panoxyl is benzoyl peroxide. Uh, this is 10%. She actually recommended 2%, which is a little bit less strong. But when I went to the pharmacy, they only had 10%, so I just picked it up. I actually paid 15 bucks for this little bottle. Um, but I know that Walmart has it for like 8 So... This is the first product that was recommended. Then it was, don't mind the bottles, cause you know, they've been used. They've been used and abused. I still have a lot of product in here. Um, and I think I've been doing this for a month and a half now. So the second product is Clenda. Hope this focuses. It's clindamycin phosphate. I, I I think this has another name, but um, I don't know what the other name is. Just I know it says clindamy clindamycin phosphate. So this is the second product. Boom. And the third product is. Adapalene, Adapalene, hope that focuses, Adapalene, um, clearly this tube is way bigger than this one, but the way that I do my current skincare is in the morning, I shower, I put this on the affected areas, my face, my chest, and the top of my shoulders. You know, I wash that off. This actually, I do not recommend leaving this on your skin because it does bleaches clothing. So make sure you wash it off right. That's the first step. The second step is in the morning, so in the morning, you shower, you wash your body, face, whatever, with this. Boom. Once you get off the, out of the shower, you dry yourself. And then you take, like, the size of a dime. And you apply it to the affected area. Size of a dime, size of a dime. Apply it to the affected area. Let me tell you, your skin, both, all three of these products will dry your skin out. Your skin will look like a fucking desert. It will feel like a fucking desert. So make sure you moisturize, um, moisturizer of your preference. Make sure it's oil free because the reasons you might get pimples is because of the oil that's on your face. Or area so yeah make sure the moisturizer is oil free okay that's that uh, and make sure you moisturize throughout the day and whenever you're using these products make sure you don't get direct sunlight because it can irritate the skin so at night you go back to this baby boy you wash your face your chest area in whatever back area that's has flare-ups as well boom same step as the first one and then you know you do your business you dry yourself and then you go grab this baby boy adapalene same thing same size amount amount of like a dime um, rub it in thoroughly apply a thin layer same chest and same to the back if if you know if that area is affected as well and again like I said all three of these products will make your skin dry like 
like a drought type thing so make sure you moisturize um all over your body because if you didn't know now you know if you don't moisturize your skin will get oily because your body will automatically try to bring moisture into the skin so you will get excessively oily excessively excessive oil so make sure you moisturize Moist moisturize is always good if you have dry skin make sure you moisturize if you have combination skin make sure you moisturize and if you have oily skin make sure you moisturize just because your skin is oily does not mean you need to stop moisturizing no there's oil free moisturizers and drink your water water is I know you've heard this probably a thousand times but water is a natural purging ingredient it cleanses your body from inside out so make sure you drink your water make sure you eat clean as well sorry my panoxyl drop I mean dropped make sure you eat clean because obviously if you're going to eat all fried food all junk food your obvious your body's obviously gonna react so make sure you stay intact make sure you keep a routine make sure you keep your face clean and make sure you don't touch your face with these nasty little fingers and right now this is my skin. I, without makeup, I do have scarring. It's like my face is flat. Like there's no bumps or anything. But I do have scars from, you know, the previous breakouts. At the moment, I have like a little guy right here. And that is because it's that time of the month. This little guy was never invited onto my forehead. I don't know who told him to show up. But it's okay if it's one that's doable but i don't need any more like thank god my skin is doing good like i saw changes in my skin within like the first three days that i used these three products and i was like wow why didn't i go see a dermatologist earlier prior to spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on freaking skincare so I am gonna actually have an appointment in two weeks to see the dermatologist again. To see the dermatologist again and make sure that everything's going how it's supposed to. I actually wanna go on, I think the medicine is Accutane and that just rids acne forever. But there is a lot of side effects to it. So I might do that. I might I don't know yet if it's needed I'll do it if it's not needed and I can just keep on doing the top topical creams then I'll do the topical creams but if the doctor recommends Accutane then I might do Accutane because I have done my research on it and a lot of you know most of the people that go on it just never see a pimple on their face so you know that's the goal but i'm so sad that this has to come to an end i missed you guys dearly i promise this year i will be consistent i will bring good content onto my channel good content onto my channel um and yeah that's all i can think of right now i love ya Muchos besos y abrazo. And hopefully I see you guys on my next video. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Is it too bright?